Ohio State Buckeyes eager to remove the bad taste of that loss to the Michigan Wolverines. They are minus some stars, but they are still packing plenty of talent, Kirk. Yeah, this is a football team that's been questioned since the Michigan game. They've had opt-outs that we'll talk about, and everybody's wondering well, how will they show up? This is the inspiration of these Utah Utes. They are underdogs again. They are used to that, but the Pac-12 champions bludgeoned Oregon twice, the team that went to Columbus and won, Kirk. Well, they had a veteran group that came back, led by Devin Lloyd, their All-American linebacker, and they were determined to get to Pasadena. That was the team goal, not the playoff. They do it tactically, not as a steady diet, rising on the slant, and there is Keithy. Take over as D.C. next season. Empty backfield and rising, delivers a strike. Cogney got into the end zone, touchdown, Utah! As the underdog Utes strike first, impressive high-tempo drive. Check it down. And Smith and Jigba, who's so effective at turning short passes. I think he'll rely on Jackson Smith and Jigba quite a bit today. Smith and Jigba, another catch, and they're really at a disadvantage at corner. They're, they're down their top three, three of their top four corners. Wow, that play was messed up. Kirk Stroud mishandled the snap, tried to get it to Marvin Harrison Jr. The rallying cry. They feel they're playing for something bigger, something truly powerful. Rising on the slant. And running free after the catch is Keithy. Barreling deep into the Ohio State secondary. Brought down. Beautiful looking helmets, by the way, with the rose. Pre-snap shift, interesting look, and pinwheeling. It's Covey who comes in motion. Play clock almost at zero. Covey has it, looking to throw. Has to escape pressure. Britton Covey, it looks almost like a return as he starts weaving through traffic. Stack to the left, and now Bernard motions back in. Rising, wheel route, end zone, throw, fingertip catch. Touchdown! Micah Bernard playing both ways and making a spectacular touchdown reception. Nice throw. Let's verify that he got the foot down. Yeah, they, they motioned him out early to create again that matchup that is. Look at that. What an effort to extend, catch the ball, left foot down, and like I said, he gets that body turned. I don't see the ball ever moving there. Well, Lamagne is with us, giving us the thumbs up. A running back. Two corners injured for this game who had been playing down the stretch. Stroud escapes the pressure. Long way to go for a first down. Shows toughness. Lowers the show. Adjusting to the skill set of his quarterback, whether it's Haskins or Fields or what he has this year. And Stroud doing what he loves to do. It's a beautiful downfield throw. He just dropped it into a mecca. Wow. Wow. wow, what a throw. What a throw. And how about the young fellow? Anderson. It's been tough inside. It is. Ohio State offensive line has not been able to dent. Stroud wants to throw for it. He downfield shot. He drops it in. Touchdown. Marvin Harrison Jr. On a fourth and short, they find the end zone. What a gamble and what a throw. I mean, it's like he's in a carnival out here just throwing the ball at targets. I mean, how about how he drops that one in the second time? Get the Buckeyes back in the game and give them a little bit of life. Get an elite running back on fourth and one, but not a lot of confidence in the ground game. As rising off play action takes a shot downfield and delivers a nice strike there. Hands to the scouts there. Third and two. End around. Key feet of the tight end. You, you love a tight end around. You see it from. Rising. Fires far side. A cushion. And the catch is made by. Stroud getting going after a slow beginning. First down, looking to throw again, and takes off. He's an effective scrambler. Man, is he good at weaving his way through the secondary. And takes the handoff and just waltzes in over the left side. Tavian Thomas rushing touchdown number 21, and terrific blocking up front. Oh, that play side with the two tight ends just opened it up. Spelling Henderson, who hasn't gotten going yet, at tailback. He's a talented back as well. Small physical guy. Look at him spin and twist. More about his ability to break tackles. He's listed at 5'8", 225. He looks thicker than that to me. 
First down throw. Smith and Jigba is open. And again, Stroud drops it in. Stiff arm all the way to the end zone. Touchdown, Jackson Smith and Jigba. 50 yard gain. We have the beginning of a shootout of Nidus. Makai Bernard, who's scored a touchdown, also playing corner, beating on that play. Yeah, I, think Ryan, I think Ryan Day has told CJ Stroud. Stroud's pretty different, too. That's his 40th touchdown pass of the season. <laughs> Joining Dwayne Haskins and Justin Fields as the only Buckeyes with 40 or more in a year. He could just work on that accuracy a little bit. Covey. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't run enough, does he? Look at Covey <laughs> weaving his way. Look out, Britton Covey accelerates. Can they run him down? No, they can't. Britton Covey, yet another house call as a returner. This one in the Rose Bowl, 97 yards. What a memory in his final game at Utah. Well, it's controversial when you see it like that. It didn't appear to be vicious, but he's done for the game. Stroud, touchdowns in his last two completions. Can he make it three in a row? Smith and Jigba, touchdown. And Ohio State answers instantly from 52 yards. But well, with Garrett Wilson out and Olave out, we had a feeling, I said in the beginning of this broadcast, that they probably, you'd see him lean on Smith and Jigba because of the experience. Let's see if we go back to the running game here. We do. Thomas spins and it stops short. Quick penetration from Zach Harrison in the Buckeyes defense. And it's worth the try to draw him off. Play clock at 10. They're going to run a play. Rising with some confusion, just keeps it. And there, he's still got it. Rising breaks free. It goes all the way to the end zone. Wow! A play that had confused, ugly looking start has a beautiful conclusion. 62 yards. I was shocked they ran no. a play. I mean, he, it didn't look good at the start. No. Recent possessions, play clock winding down. Stroud from the pocket, crossing round, catch made. Smith and Jigba, stiff arm. They'll get the ball to begin the second half, but less than five minutes to work with here in the second quarter. Smith and Jigba's wide open, pitch and catch. Loses the ball, rolling in the end zone, and Utah recovers. Cole Bishop comes up with it. Smith and Jigba was headed for the end yeah. zone. Clark Phillips caught up to him. He's beaten. I mean, they hit a crease. But Clark Phillips, with his speed, has great effort and just takes a swing at that football. On that last play before the fumble, that's what they did. That was zone. Rising delivers a throw. Sideline catch made by Keithy. I'm sure he's proud watching his son making a lot of plays here in the first half of the Rose Bowl. Third and six, pressure comes, picked up, and a low throw, incomplete. Dump it down, and Henderson escapes. Look out, he's still running, and is cut down out across the 20 with 27 seconds Looks like to they go. caught a late hit there. He may get 15 more yards. Henderson is the far left of the formation. Stroud takes a peek that way, now checks it down, and diving catch is made at the 45-yard line. Ryan Day is going to have to use that timeout, trying to at least get in the field goal range. And you have no timeouts left. You need about 25 yards to get in the range that Ruggles was showing in the warm-up. Throw underneath. They'll move to six. It'll be they a brief fire. Stopping. He's going to fire this to kill the clock. The first down also obviously does. They work on this all the time, all college offenses. You see chess match here. With just 12 seconds and no timeouts, Utah. Flushes Stroud out on the run, fires far side, and the catch is made, and diving out of bounds is Julian Fleming. That was clutch with two seconds to go. He didn't get it, out of bounds. Didn't they spot him out? No, he, I think his knee might have, must have touched. Oh, wow, he did make a great effort and fell across the sideline there, but they kept the clock rolling, and it wasn't a first yeah, down. You're, you're right about Fleming. He goes airborne to go up and make the catch, but he nope. touches right there. Smith and Jig was in the backfield to the right of Stroud. CJ fires across the middle. It's Smith and Jigba again. 
weaving his way. They finally truck him at the 20 yard line. Makai Bernard saved the touchdown. That ball came right out. Chris, I think Utah knew. Start checking the receiving yards record for the Rose Bowl. Keyshawn Johnson had a monster game against Northwestern. That's where the jig was headed for 200 yards. Stroud, pump fake, looking for Fleming in the end zone. Under thrown and intercepted by Clark Phillips. The freshman makes his second humongous play here this afternoon. The fourth fumble, now the pick. Lead five, the Utes to keep the drive going. Pledger is the bat. He picks up the blitz and rising, takes a long shot, but it's broken up beautifully by Denzel Burke. Smith and Jigba and still got enough energy to return punts. It's bobbled. Well, they changed up punters there, and Williams with the miscue sets up Ohio State at the 11 yard line. They're so wrestling for the ball. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter, no. Take it to Anderson. Stroud surveys, throws the end zone. Easy pitch and catch, and the touchdown. The second today for Marvin Harrison Jr. And Ohio State. Getting closer and takes advantage of the dropped punt snap. Yeah. An incredible amount of snaps both ways today. Nice to convert the first down here. Can he get there? Yes, a nice move. A bounce. Makai Bernard, a huge run down inside the 35. Play action, rising on the run. Flips it far side. Kincaid lowers the shoulder. Big tight end rumbling down near the 10 yard line before. With that ankle taped up on the left side of the formation. Thomas. Ooh, cut down. Looked like he had a hole there. He's for a 10 point cushion and he knocks it right through. You turn on the Rose Bowl and you see all these colors. You're just like, where in the heck is, is that stadium? It's just so beautiful. Fleming makes the catch. I think Devin Lloyd's in the conversation. Right there, right there, the country. Yeah. Stroud delivers. Catch made. Far side. Harrison again trying to add to a single game record held by Terry Glenn. But uh, 238 and counting. After the timeout. First down from midfield. Stroud on the move. Flips it across. And Smith and Jigba. To try to stay up with Smith and Jigma. Just couldn't do it. Made it an easy throw. And fast. And pitch it on the far side. Abuka makes the catch. He gets around the quarter. Stroud buying some time here. Scanning. Flips it back. Laid across the middle. A very dangerous throw that Reed's guy had a cast in his hand for a long time. Finally got the cast off. Should definitely have made that catch. And terrific play behind the line. That's Clark Phillips. And that tackle for us sets up third and ten. Stroud has good protection. Plenty of time. Now rolls and fires low and incomplete. It bounced before Henderson got back to it. Shrunk and there's just a whole lot of bodies down in the end zone. 31 yard field goal attempt. And no Ruggles who doesn't miss. Remember this team, their whole mission was to get to this Rose Bowl and win it as a group. Thomas runs through a crease, kind of creates his own hole. 5.6 as a team is excellent. Rising on second down. Easy pitch and catch one of those tight ends. It's 4 of 9 today. But has been much more effective getting off the field lately. Keeper, nothing doing. That's Cade Stover. That converted tight end. Rising looks for Keith. He makes the catch. Doesn't make enough. He is tackled right there by Ronnie Hickman, one of the leaders of this Ohio State defense, and that's a big fourth down stop. Fleming looks like he had his shoulder popped back in. Yeah, to be seen Fleming back. He back made the catch and Stroud on second down. There's a slant. Smith and Jigba still alive. Stiff arm and a record-breaking afternoon gets even more impressive for number 11. Deep into Utah territory. I mean, what do you do if you're Utah? Utah has led by two touchdowns four different times tonight. Play fake, flip it in the half, and the catch is made. He literally used Mitch Rossi. Knocked down hard, but they sneak him out. This is his fourth catch of the season. Play clock winding down. Got to hurry. Looks left, throws end zone. Catch made. Marvin Harrison Jr. with a hat trick. Had five catches all year, has three touchdowns today.
with all the build-up and hype about Olave being out in Garrett Wilson, a lot of my prep this week has been with Brian Hartline and Ryan Day. Tell me more about these receivers. A lot of energy here now. It's the Buckeye faithful making some noise. Rising play action. One to take a shot downfield. He's just caught up in traffic and fires the ball into the ground. He was in the grass with Court Williams who drove him down and quarterback laying flat on his back. That was a he's played on a couple of games that hasn't thrown a pass. This guy from and it, I didn't think we'd see a receiver again in a postseason have that kind of night, but 288 right now for Smith and Jimbo. Here we have Henderson off the right side. Breaking tackles, picks up 11. Good job sustaining blocks on that first down play. Stroud dumps it underneath. It's a Rose Bowl record. Used to be held by Danny O'Neill. And that long throw to Harrison. That should get him over 500 yards. Approaching five and a half to go. Lead eight. Utes bringing the pressure. It's picked up. Ball comes out. Fleming makes the catch, but he is wrestled out nicely by Clark Phillips. It's fourth down to the far right of the formation. Looks like they're trying to create space over the middle. Four-man rush. Stroud has time. Delivers. Smith and Jigba. Who else? First down at the 30. You give him an option there. Master Teague, who doesn't have a carry yet tonight, is now the tailback. Stroud launching for the end zone. Jump ball. Touchdown, Smith and Jigba. Are you kidding me? <laughs> oh, my. And the gritty, the gritty dance punctuates it. What a monster game. You can watch this sport forever. You won't see many better games by a wide receiver than this one. Dude, I don't know if it's the catch or the throw that I'm about to fall over on. Outside shoulder? Are you kidding me? And then the concentration. That's just, you don't teach that. And as that was unfolding, and Stroud was leading Ohio State to the victory, Cam Rising, or the lead, I should say, Cam Rising is in the tent. They took away his helmet. Hollywood get a report. But meanwhile, number 18, Covey's trying to set up Utah in good field position. The question is. It's a tough ask here for his first attempt of his career as a pass. Third down, down seven. And it's incomplete. Tried to find Covey, but a flag. Cam Brown was in coverage. And got Brown. Pass interference. Or he got handsy because of the route. Looking to throw here. Delivers underneath. Once again, goes to the reliable. And this, this may be it. Just the way this drive's unfolding, they may not get another possession. It's a keeper. And the young guy scampers and takes his shot and has a first down at the 30. Wow. Kincaid stays in the game. Two minutes to go. First down for the 15. Barnes walked into the end zone. It's Kincaid again. Who's got it? What a story from nowhere. Bryson Barnes comes in and leads Utah to a tying touchdown. I don't even think they're concerned about that. They're more concerned about trying to score and work a little clock. Stroud, Smith and Jigba. Sidesteps a tackler, wrestled down at midfield. Only have to move it about 20 yards to be in Noah Ruggles' range. They're thinking that. Tonight, he will never forget the rest of his life. Ohio State fans will never forget, depending on how it ends, especially. Protection for Stroud. Dumps it down again. Henderson was left alone over there. Henderson again. First down, and they're in field goal range. Stroud has plenty of time. And fires. Smith and Jigba makes the catch. Knocked out at the 12. So criticized. So tough in himself after that loss to Michigan. So many critics howling. To come back home and lead this kind of performance as Henderson is muscled down at the 2. And now has a 19-yarder to win the Rose Bowl. And does his job. And somewhere... No, his grandfather is aware of what Noah has done. That was the punctuation mark. A lot of hard work to get there, but a nice moment for him. They're not going to give Covey a chance, are they? <laughs> That's why I said, are they going to kick yes, it? they are. Wow. And Covey already one electric move, reverses field. Going back to the, Look the, the lateral day, and he will be 
brought down. It's a scrum for the football. Picked up, but no, it's going to be down right there. Triple zero on the clock. That's it. An unforgettable Rose Bowl as Ohio State shorthanded fights from behind all night. Utah leads for 45 minutes of this game. Sadly, Cam Rising, the leader of this team, not out of the game, not able to finish. Who knows what would have happened? Did Cade made the catch to tie it. And Utah's season of resolve and resilience yes. ends in disappointment.